have not spoken to anyone in so long. What happened to them? What happened to them? Ask their corpse dust what happened to them. The wicked beast took what was not theirs. Now their squished flesh rots into loam. My Dusa was kind. She gave and gave. Wisdoms, magics, even the sweet, lilted song of the stones. But it was not enough for the beasts. Never enough. Not even in the end. Wicked, wicked beasts. They deserved their deaths and more. This wistful, empty hollow was the throne room of, of King Thanos. But I didn't visit him here. No, not once. I couldn't stand the mollycoddles of the mortals. Yet I sense him here still. His life's imprint, drifting in the dust memory of this hollow. So I stay. My Thanos. Son of Colquette and King of the Hooved. He arrived at this land lost and blighted, and one day stumbled upon my sleepy grotto. He sung me the sad song of his people, fractured from their herd. Such a poor and pitiful beastie he was. Sweethearted Lydusa cured him of his plague blight in exchange for a year and a day. A year and a day with me. Without her sisters, poor Lydusa had grown so lonesome. My singing stones were my only companions. Thanos and I spent each day together. I taught him the song of the stones. And we sang and danced atop the clifftops, from dawn till dusk. Our bond peaked higher than the mounts, more and deeper than the depths. A bond no other beast could ever understand. Oh, how I did not wish him to go. But he was a hoof king, and his people were his heart's grotto. He returned to them, and as a final gift, I taught him the cure touch for his people's blight. He built me a temple within his golden city, and he would visit me again and again, for I would not allow his life song to fade. But then, he was taken from sweet Lydusa. Taken. Stolen. Taken by the wicked beasts. Terrible, wicked beasts. I will speak of them no more. Then why are you still here? Find Lydusa's precious th
elsewhere. That monster. How could she? I swear to... to... <laughs> oh, it is my friend. Thank goodness. I am... not well. Not well at all. Walt is listening. What does it think is the matter? My hopes and dreams have crumbled and fallen. The lost tribe is no more, and the secrets of her power are lost. I will never escape. It is either a life of loneliness in the jungle, or of deplorable servitude back home. I cannot go back. I will not go back to that life of misery. But I cannot hide in the wreckage of the lost tribe either, barely scraping by. There is nothing left for me. My dream is dead. I am a walking corpse. Truth be damned! I was not doing this for truth. I wanted to find the lost tribe and join their society. And once I found out that I had no power over stones, I had foolishly hoped to overthrow Genus and her tyrannical hold over the pen. I dreamed of a Yesha where every pen could rise and fall based on their own merits, where they're free to choose what shape their life will take, where there is no cabal of immortal elites who treat us like expendable pawns. But it is over. Finished. The lost tribe is gone, and the goddess, her secrets are her own once again. It is hideous, difficult to look at. Uh, being alone with this new truth has been... It has been... Just know that I am glad for the company. What did I find? If it must know, Proof of heinous betrayal and cruel misuse of power. And, and the downfall of my lost tribe at her despicable hands. Once the pen priesthood had pried every last secret of the living stones from the captured goddess Lydusa, they granted her the mercy of truth. A bitter truth that would ruin everything they'd worked so hard to build. See? Velos had long ago died from injuries sustained during his capture. A tragic and unintentional loss as he was well loved by his people. But the goddess went mad! In her fury, she broke free from her prison. Then she. She. She murdered them. In a cold, cruel rage, she turned the pen's living constructs against them. And together, they swept through that utopian kingdom and decimated the lost tribe. Only the priests remained, confined to the throne room. Drenched in blood, she demanded Thalos' body, but it had long since been burned. They could not comply even if they wished to, but she did not care. She is incapable of such emotion. She killed them, and that was that. The end of my lost tribe. They're gone. Destroyed. Forever. All because of a failed goddess who did not think us worthy of her power. She must pay. It is wrong. Wrong! If that is all, Walt would like to be alone. Get it over with. It is a Boxel deck, but more than that, it is Walt's friend. 